Hey, this is Let's Go DC back with another tutorial and this time it's Advanced Fractal Transformer. Continuing from where we left in the last tutorial where we were talking about transforming a simple data like in the format which is shown right now where it shows the project details with the project ID and the customer details etc. But uh, there are dependencies which are uh, related to this project uh, like the time logs and the users which I have included uh, in the model which looks like this if you go to the project you have the user which is belonging to users and time logs so these are the relationships uh, to the project uh, table so we actually want to transform even these data for one of which is a one-to-one -one relationship uh, and time logs is a one-to-many where uh, there are uh, it, it comes as an array of elements so how we can transform it let's see that so let's go back to our project transformer where you have uh, current you are transforming currently these details one of the easiest way to do include uh, the project other details are let's say the time log i include it here and i show the relationship as time log and if i now make a request You can see that the time logs are included but each time log uh, for a particular project is coming back but the problem here is the first level is currently transformed in the way we want like we are exposing whatever is required like the project id the customer name and the project name but when it comes to the second level of transformation time log is returning each and every value which is there in the database so this is not an ideal situation so let's go back and see how we can transform this section so what we can try doing is get rid of the time log and include something called as uh, default includes which accepts an array of dependent element in this case let's call it time logs so once that is done all you have to do is create another method called include time logs make sure that uh, this time logs is the same name here just that it starts with the camel casing so you need to have this T as capitals and then pass the project model which is the same like what is used to transform here once that is passed get the time logs from the project element and then return that for transformation which is as simple as calling the collection and then passing the data and then calling a transformer which is created for the time lock transformer so I have already created it it looks something like this thus the one of the advantages of using a transformer is it can do more than just uh, returning the values directly from the database you can even do some operations like uh, create another field which is not at all there in the database and return that value here in this case I have just created based on the start and the end time I just I'm just taking the duration and returning 
as well along this along with this uh, transformer so this is a simple transformer it's just like the same approach we followed in the first tutorial we are creating that just that there are some additional things which is being done here so let's go back to our previous transformer which is uh, project transformer so I have the includes now so once this is only this is what you need to do to transform your other uh, relationship so in this case it is time lock transformer I go back and see what's the response that I receive so I have all these now the pivot and uh, pivot and the creator and updated at everything so once this is transformed let's see what's the result so you can see it has transformed in a way which is required the date is shown in a way which can be directly represented on the user friend I have a duration which is not there in in the database but something which is being sent as part of the transformer so that way you can actually control what you can what you need at your uh, what what need, needs to be received at the client end so this was for a collection or an array to return an array let's see how we can do it for a single element so the project also has something called as a user relationship so let's try transforming that as well the simplest way of doing is to include it as part of the project transformer so let's see what data is coming back user I'll just call project and the user so this is one level of transformation not ideal but still if if you are fine with it you can go ahead and do that so you can see that along with the time logs now I am returning a user element so it is returning first name last name and everything along with other details which are not required uh, for my requirement so let's let's get rid of that and create a transformer for the user similar to how it is being done for the other uh, models so I have the transformers here I have the time project user and the time log transformer I create a new PHP class called user transformer so it extends transformer abstract and uh, I need to have a method called transform which will accept the user element or the user model And then return that uh, as an array so I'm interested in the ID of the user first name or even I can call it as name and then transform it as user first name user last name and even include a uh, combined between so this is how I am willing to transform my user first name and last name so let's check whether the names are proper so 
so I am I have the first name and the last name and once that is done let's do a transform so this user is not included yet Import that so now we are fine so let's go back to our transformer and include a user include once that is done create a method include capital user just pass the project and then get the user from the project using the same approach and all you have to do is return this as an item passing that user and the transformer So let's see what the outcome is. So let's see what the problem is here. This case is failing because uh, the transformer is expecting a collection, but uh, transformer is expecting uh, an item. Instead of that, we are passing a collection. So for that, uh, let's see this relation which is saying as belongs to many. So it is actually returning an array of users. So if you, for my case, this uh, this use case is per perfectly fine because uh, my project has multiple users. But then let's take a scenario where the use case is just that uh, there is only one user for this project. So in that case, what we can try doing is when you're transforming it, because this being a pivot table between a user and a project, project user, what you can try doing is get the first, first item from the user's array. So in your case, anyway, it is only one user. So if in this case, it will return the first object, which will be a user object, which you're passing to the transformer for transformation. So let's check what happens now. So this time it has accepted the single user and transformed it and given you the format in which we sent, like you are only passing the name instead of first name and the last name. So that is transformed now. So things are working fine. So you can see that the user is a single object and times log is an array. So the data is being transformed as an array. So that's it on this advanced tutorial on using fractal transformers. Hope you enjoyed it.